25-year-old woman has a complaint of mild temporal mandibular joint pain and bruxism. Accurate casts, properly mounted, constitute an important aid in the analysis of functional occlusal relationships and facilitate the diagnosis and treatment planning for patients with occlusal problems. Careful clinical analysis of occlusion should always precede and be part of the analysis of the mounted cast. The simple procedures for mounting casts, illustrated in this movie, will provide the essential information that can be gained from mounted casts. Even though technical limitations regarding reproduction of complicated jaw movements in articulators tends to restrict the significance of all articulator analysis of occlusion. Essential equipment needed for mounting the casts is shown. It consists of a semi-adjustable articulator, a face bow, soft green wax, hard base plate wax, thermometer, plaster bowl, spatula, knife, long cut string, a hair, a pencil, a wax instrument, and a ruler. Pay attention Pay attention to accurate reproduction of details in the occlusal anatomy. See if the casts fit their tape. In this instance, there appears to be a ring that could be by an artifact. Test the artifact to see if it allows free movement. Set the incisal pin at the zero level, and the incisal tape Adjusting a figure to 15 degrees for both sides. The condylar setting to 30 degrees. To lock root and B, there is no play in the condylar mechanism. The bench hinge axis is located by mangsible root from the middle of the, of the ear to the ear campus of the eye and mark an indelible pencil 15 millimeters in front of border of the trace. The shall touch the tragus, and the mar de mise will cross to make it easy to center how large they spoke. The chin instructed to bite lightly lays a base wax has been wrapped on a fork. The zill trimmed for any soft tissue contact and replenish them. The patient biting into the occlusal imps filled the frame. The face bow is set over the crossex, and the front set screw tightened. There is a change in position of the condylubes during the tightening procedure. The mechanism be loosened and the face bow adjusted. The face bow is centered in the articulator. The readings on the arms of the face bow are made on the side. Be sure the mouth is screwed firmly to the articulator. The bite will be approximately in the middle of the articulator. Place the cast, which has vision grooves, carefully into the wax on the bite fork. Use plaster or stone to mount the cast. Remove it to the plaster has set. Raise the incisal pin two to three millimeters to compensate for the thickness of the strip really record. A narrow strip of hard plate wax put in the of hot water. While camps may obtain relaxation of the just preparation for the recurring of separate relations. When impeded relaxation in the intrusive hinge path can be achieved, the softened strip of wax is folded over once, aptly placed on the patient's axillary. And the operator moves the man up and down the receive hinge. Don't have the patient. The operator alone should move. Maintain a steady depressure on the mandibular teeth while it's being trimmed with the incisal edges and cusp tips. Keep steady pressure on the bowl while waxing chill. This is not the Bar contractions geared by tooth sensitivity to cold might easily store wax record. This wax by removed and chilled filled water. 
The record is based on the maxillary teeth. Mandible guided into secretion. The seat floor is identical to the record. He makes contacts. The secret record and the matter cast placed on the mounted maxillary cast. The mandible is pressed firmly into the wax record. Tied to the calculator with a cotton string. The shoe should be tied as taut as possible. This secures a firm, well-defined position. The cotton string is away. Impinged or sewn is also attached the mandibulus to the articulator. After angular lock submission, the word is ruled, and the inside end raised. The articulator occlusion decorates an initial contact and slide centric, similar to that observed in The pin is rehearsed in bringing the mandible into a percussive position while looking in a hand. Orient mark placed on the anterior teeth to guide the patient into a straight for closure. Softened old plate wax is placed on the teeth. The patient is guided to a closure of a closal cut at a percussive dish of the fullers anterior to centric. Excess wax carved away to expose size of margin and cusp tips. The wax is chilled and moved from the mouth. It is curved to be sure there has been no penetration of the wax. Early chilled wax is a mounted casts. Handed are loosen, so the max ray and mandar cast is seated in the percrucy record. After the casts are seated, the screws are written and the color guidance is established. This completes the count procedure, for the mounting must be checked for accuracy. Narrow rips of 28 gauge green casting wax are placed between the teeth, and the mouth into two contact at set relation. It should be done for both sides, either subtly or simultaneously. New strips of wax are placed on the oodles of the cast. And casts tatter in centric rip. The piece of perforations and near abrasions wax from the articulate mounting and from the are there to assure accurate duplication contact patterns. and provides stop for all those mandibular teeth. Clasps can be based for retention. Right plane securely in place, there should be constant guidance in lateral excursions. There should be no incisal guidance except for the lift provided by the cuspid guides. There be free to separate. Note move line loops in the various lateral and protrusive. Right planes can be adjusted by use of carpet paper and or wax. The pin should be induced in every possible hand movement on the right plane as well as lateral and movement. No mark of contact on the occlusal surface of the bite plane, aiding stay contact all of the opposing team. Eliminate all occlusal guidance and this on the surface of the bite plane, except for the customs one to two millimeter away from the centric stop marks. Adjust the bite plane a large wheel type stone make the surface as flat as possible and still maintain set stops for all opposing teeth. The surface should be polished.